Good afternoon and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark and I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2015 Ford Ranger Wild Track PX Mark II Ranger this afternoon. We'll start off at the front of the car and just point out a few things on the Ranger. We do have front parking sensors standard and all that really dark grill running through the front. Driving lights right down in the bottom of our front bumper. As you can see, finished in just a plain white, no real scratches, touch-ups or any marks that I can see anywhere around the car. Uh, factory alloy wheels with uh, extremely good tyres on them as well, no scratches on the alloy wheel either. Um, 3.2 litre six-speed auto, which we'll, we'll go into more detail about that a bit later. You'll also notice we've got our uh, indicator incorporated in our outer mirror. Um, and then the, uh, the brownish colour handles just sets it off, gives it that bit of a point of difference. Side step standard in the wild track as well. And the rear, wheel, rear alloy wheel, no scratches on that either. And um, our 4x4 badging just on the back of our rear guard there as well. As we move around to the back of the car now, once again a few things to point out here as well. We do have a reverse camera fitted just below the Ford emblem. We've also got colour-coded reverse parking sensors. Uh, we do have our tow bar as well, um, which gives us the ability to tow 3.5 tonne. And as you can see, the rear step incorporated there as well. We drop our tailgate down, as you can see, it's got the hard lid on it as well. And uh, we utilise this strap to actually unlock the top. So if we pull it across to the right-hand side there, it releases our, uh, our hard lid and we can push it all the way open if we need to. And then we've just got this strap, as you can see, that just enables us to bring it back into position. It is relatively stiff in its operation. I don't think it's been used that often. And then to lock it, simple matter of clicking across to our other side there as well. Uh, tub liner also, which hasn't seen a lot of use either. Now, as we move around to the passenger side, You'll see the consistency of the exterior is really good. No scratches on either of our alloy wheels on this side of the car either. Um, no marks or scratches or anything on the paintwork either. So uh, I'd be fairly certain I don't think this car's seen, seen any off-road action at this stage. It just seems too clean to, um, to have been out in the bush. So back around at the front of the Ford Ranger now, as we mentioned, uh, 3.2 litre turbo diesel motor, certainly going to do everything that we want it to do. 149 kilowatts of power, 470 newton metres of torque. But the really attractive thing about it is that it will give us 9 litres combined per 100 k's. So about 889 kilometres out of a tank of diesel in this car. So here we are inside the wild track now and obviously being, being the top of the range it's certainly decked out and looks really nice. Um, leather, leather armrests on our, on our door trims and all of our power window switches just there. Manual lock and unlock buttons on the sides of our doors as well. Auto headlights. We do come to our height adjustable leather wrapped steering wheel. Just push that lever back into position to lock it away. Our controls for our exterior mirrors and we can fold them in automatically if we wish to. On our steering wheel itself, all of our controls just to alter all of the uh, all of the details being displayed up on our dashboard there. All of our cruise control settings here and then audio and Bluetooth buttons on the left hand side as well. Going to the multi-function screen now, as we mentioned earlier, does have a reverse camera so really clear picture behind us. And then also back to the main screen, Obviously we can connect our, our phone, Bluetooth, um, does have navigation as well, um, which just brings up a really clear screen there also, so um, many functions inside there as well. Down below that we've just got our master controls for our audio, all of our climate control, air conditioning settings as well. Uh, we do have heated seats in this particular model as well. Two 12 volt outlets on either side there, and then all of our USB and auxiliary um, plugs down the bottom there. Um, traction control buttons here, also turn our reverse parking sensors off if we want to. Our four wheel, four -wheel drive control there, and then our T bar auto. Drive it as a normal automatic, or you also have the function of driving it in sports mode if you wish, which enables us to change through the gears manually. Now the one thing I do really like about the Wild Tracks, the interior, um, you have a look at the way they're finished in leather 
Um, you've got all the orange infills running through the through the seat with our wild track badging, which is a little bit hard to see from the uh, rear of the car. We've got factory car mats as well, um, which obviously the, the original owner opted for all of those options from factory when they bought it new. And then we'll also have a look at it to our uh, service books, just see how impressive they are as well. Um, the first registered date for this particular vehicle, let's have a look here, 23rd of October 2015. So we've still got a little bit of new car warranty for about another month and, uh, and this car does qualify for a further five years mechanical protection as well. So there's the intermediate service we've carried out, 33,000 case services there as well and then uh, our, our complimentary service originally and the 15,000k service as well. So I'm just giving you an idea of how much room there is in this Ford Ranger Wild Track. Um, I've got that driver's seat in my driving position there as well. I'm six foot two and you look at the room that I've got in the back. I've got a ton of headroom as well. So um, certainly a really good size car as far as um, how much room I've got in here as well. I hope this gives you a really good idea of the quality of our Ford Ranger Wild Track Ute. Um, certainly impressive inside and out. Now, as I mentioned, does qualify for a further five years premium mechanical protection at the completion of your initial warranty. Um, and that will give you fixed price intermediate services of $295 with a free loan car. 10 years premium roadside assistance as well. So make sure you ask us more about that when you do call on 9907 zero triple five.